Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 22, the show Red Sox franchise mode. Today, bringing you the 130th game of the season. Finally, we are starting with a new, uh, a new series. Finally, against Tampa Bay Rays. Still, we are at Fenway Park, and we have approximately 32 more games to play. If I do a daily upload in about a month, we will be finishing. Uh, we'll be finishing the uh, the series in terms of the regular season. And um, of course, there are playoffs as well. But again, there's no guarantee in playoff. If I lose, I lose. If I lose, that will be the end of the series, unfortunately. And of course, the new MLB the show will be will be out in probably in two months. So hopefully, within two months, I'll be able to finish the series again um, after the playoffs. No matter what the outcome is, I will not be recording uh, anymore after that. I thought about doing the road to the show. Uh, player to gl glory kind of thing but I know it's gonna take a long time by the way so uh, the fact that you know I have currently two series working on you know the show and also FIFA uh, it's a little bit tough uh, to actually trying to uh, produce more than you know two different series so I decided to you know what I'm gonna just stop that so you guys can probably see that uh, in this channel I try not to post that many times but of course uh, the only content that I'm going to post from now on uh, on the channel is pretty much FIFA and MLB the show. Before that, I had the um, the podcast, whatever you know, whatever it called, like Arsenal podcast, something like that. Uh, well, that one has officially moved to another uh, another channel. So, well, the first video will be out in a few days, so you guys can check it out if you guys are, you know, football, soccer, blah blah blah, whatever. You know, if you guys are a fan of Arsenal. Uh, please uh, subscribe to that channel. I will leave a link down in the description. Hopefully, you guys you know check it out. You know, subscribe and also like it if you can. And I don't know if you can hear it right now in the background, but I'm actually currently playing uh, the Super Bowl again. A uh, great event, one of the probably one of one of the greatest sporting event in the world. But of course, for me, I'm not quite of a uh, American football th fan. Um, never actually grew around. You know, with the sport, of course, you heard about it. Um, but because I was living in Hong Kong, it's such a uh, such a British, uh, you know, well, we were colonized by the British back then. So we weren't quite influenced by a lot of the American sports. So baseball, American football is not really quite a thing. But rugby, soccer, basketball, uh, it's kind of a big thing in Hong Kong. But Super Bowl, again, um, American football in general, I am. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm not a big fan of the sport. Again, there's so much contact. Uh, you know, I like contact sport, but you know, to some extent, I know uh, too much contact is too much contact, and that's pretty much what um, that's what American football is about. It's just you know, way too many contact where uh, you know a lot of players get permanent brain damage, injury, all sorts of stuff. And that's why it's not quite of a sport for me to play, uh, not quite of a sport for me to watch. But when it comes to Super Bowl, I would actually, you know, uh, go on my TV and have a, you know, have a look at it. And I'm watching the first quarter, or the first quarter was ended. I I, saw, I watched two touchdowns. Honestly, it's quite hyped. Uh, I like it. I like the atmosphere. I like the environment when you know a big event. When a big event like this happened, it's like similar to. Um, it's like an American version of you know the World Cup, pretty much because again, not just not just in America, I think in North America uh, as well, like even in Canada, a lot of people watch American football as well. So yeah, it's kind of a you know it's kind of equi equivalent in terms of quality uh, between those two events. Again, I think I've been watching the Super Bowl at least for the past four or five years, to be honest. Only the Super Bowl, but. Um, but of course, in terms of you know the regular season playoff, blah blah blah, I don't watch any of that. But Super Bowl again, great event, and at the same time, get great shows. Uh, last se last year, I remember it was uh, Snoop Dogg was in there. I think Dr. Dre was in there as well, and also Eminem was in there. So it was such a great event last season. Again, uh, I think a lot of people might not be caring about Super Bowl, but all they care about is pretty much who is going to be on the halftime show. And right now, I think we have arrived in the second second quarter, and apparently today Rihanna's gonna be uh, is gonna be singing. So I'll be watching that. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a great sport. But right now, let's talk about baseball right here. Again, I think in terms of the roster move, I don't think from the last time I post anything, I don't think 
the Red Sox made any moves, and even though if the Red Sox made any you know sort of move, it would be kind of a minor, a minor move, not like a big move, something like that. But in terms of the uh, acquisition, uh, you know, of the players, I think we have certainly looked stronger in terms of the bullpen, and in terms of I think overall, I think we look better compared to last season. But again, I think still injury still kind of hits the Red Sox quite significantly I'm not sure if James Paxton is you know ready to be back I'm not sure if Chris Sale's ready to be back to be honest I know I think right now his finger is fine uh honestly it's quite silly I know it's not really a place for me to judge but the fact that he broke his I think his his finger while you know you know cycling or something like that is just completely absurd to me and of course uh, the big story is Trevor's story uh, broke his elbow or something like that. Um, fixing a nerve on his elbow or something like that. And he will be out until, you know, after the All-Star break. So that's a blow right there. But honestly, I'm not expecting much with the Red Sox this season. Hopefully, we're going to reach the playoff. Uh, at the same time, I doubt we are going to win, uh, you know, win AL East or even winning World Series. It's fine, but at least the squad... Uh, carry on to the, the 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 roster that is going to be carry on to the next season. Um, at least it's different. I mean, we made a lot of personnel change, which is a good thing. And in terms of the show, uh, I'm quite sure that our overall rating might drop quite significantly compared to this season. But again, it's all about using different types of you know players, even though some of them uh, you know. In terms of their stats, their power, the contents, you know, all sorts of attributes like that are, you know, dropping. But, of course, the, the one player that I'm actually excited to use is actually Yoshida. Uh, he'll be leading off as well. So, that is going to be, I think that is going to be a very awesome MLB 23 to show. I'm still not sure who's going to be on the cover, but we'll find out very soon. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.